Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been away from YouTube for ages and ages. I've had such a lot going on and lots of different life changes and um, I'm waiting for an operation on my thumb and so life went pear-shaped as it seems to do a lot. But it's 2019 and I'm back. So this year I'm still hoping to carry on trying to grow um, my own food as much as possible. I've got loads of new ideas and things. It's an ongoing thing, it's been going on for years but we, we never give up, we keep going. So I've got uh, loads of ideas for the garden this year. Uh, I'm still hoping to eat um, quite a low fat, high carb, vegan, vegan type diet as well. Um, do that, grow my own carbs, um, and carry on doing quite a lot of exercise. I do need to shift a few more pounds this year because at the end of last year I seem to um, put a bit of weight back on, so I'm going to be back to it in earnest. And I'm also um, living quite a frugal life. I've, I've always lived a frugal life. Um, we've always been on a very, very strict budget. And this year I've had to change jobs and things, and um, so I'm I'm even more frugal. But I'm good at frugal. I'm really good. I was brought up, actually, uh, my parents had me late in life, and they were teenagers during the Second World War, and they know loads about uh, make do amend mend and recycling, and it sort of rubbed off on me. I was brought up um, in, a, in a very frugal uh, household, and I've brought up um, five children on a very, very strict budget. And so I'm going to share this year some of my hints and tips and some of the things I do to save a little bit of money. Uh, and things like that. Um, which is why I'm going to start today, my first new video for ages and the first video of January 2019 is thinking about Christmas. Oh no, Christmas! Christmas is a great time now in January to think of a few things you could do to uh, save yourself a bit of money in December when you need to spend so much, well you don't need to spend so much but you, you get um, sort of um, made you feel guilty if you don't. But there is a few tips I do to save myself a little bit of money in the long run. And of course the first thing is bargain hunting. You have to go around and get some bargains in January. This has been one of my best bargains. This is Christmas wrapping paper. Now I don't use a lot of Christmas wrapping paper. Um, I'm not tight, I'm just frugal. Where's it gone? I save, lots of rustling here, I save throughout the year any um, brown paper that comes, say, with um, Amazon packaging or packaging in general or anything that uh, sometimes I'm around my friends' houses and they've had stuff and they're um, recycling or getting rid of the packaging and I save that and I wrap Christmas presents with it. Um, which some people find amusing, some people are a bit taken aback and some people think it's great. However, there are a few people that really like their presents in wrapping paper plus um, we tend to do the shoebox appeal and they like those in, in pretty paper as well so I went out and this was actually this is a four meter roll and it was 20 pence um, now there was loads of them in the box and the one thing you've got to look at there was loads of different lengths this one as I say is four meters and there was also two and three meters but I got the four meters because you get more bang for your buck so I got that, and I got that, and I got that one as well, and when I got to the till, it was still on the three for two, so I got those three rolls of four metre wrapping paper for 40 pence, um, and that was really good, that was from my co-op, um, so I bought that. And some of the other things I've got is ribbon. I use a lot of ribbon, I make my own wreaths and um, Christmas decorations and things. So um, this ribbon it started off life at £1.49 but they were all half price or less. So I got quite a few reels. I didn't get many because I actually, I got quite a few last year. Clintons were doing this big clearance of ribbon and they were having big rolls like that for 25p. So I got some extra ones so I had enough really only needed to buy a few. So that was another another bargain. Another thing that I do, Mrs Cheapskate, is I don't do Christmas cards anymore. Um, I give the money to charity instead. And most people are fine with that. And I still have a few Christmas cards. And what I do is I cut the Christmas cards up when, you know, obviously after January the 6th. I go through them. And if there's any that sort of lend themselves to making gift tags for next year like that I just um, I cut them out 
and then you can just stick them on or um, hole punch a hole and put a bit of string through them and tie them onto the parcel with your brown paper and you've got free gift tags so a bit of recycling in use there as well one of the big things I do at Christmas now my children of nearly all grown up, I've only got one left at home, I've got grown up children, is um, I do them uh, a little crazy sock. Um, I got this idea for somebody on YouTube, um, I can't think of her name at the moment, oh Lin Linda, Linda Sin? Sign? I don't quite know how you pronounce it, but she does this thing every year with her family where they fill socks with gifts and I thought that was a really good idea, so we do the, the crazy sock thing too and I always get Christmas socks. So if there's anybody in my family watching that gets a Christmas sock, um, you might have a sneak preview of what your sock might be like. Um, because if you go around in January, all the Christmas socks are reduced. Um, so you can get pretty ones, really nice ones. And these are a pound each, down from £3.50. Um, so I got these. And I went and rummaged for the men's socks as well. They were a little bit more expensive than the women's. They were half price. That was £3 instead of £6 for two pairs. So it was £1.50. But it's still better than, than paying £6 for two pairs in December. So I nipped around and I've got a bag full of socks um, for everybody in the family. So I'm well prepared with the socks. The other thing we like to do is we like to do the little gifts in a shoebox and it can get a bit pricey. Um, and I happen to have some points on my works card. So I popped into the works and there was um, a couple of little things on sale. There was this was 50 pence, which was um, a snowman pad, pad and, uh, pen and pad there, which looked quite pretty. And this adorable little penguin um, purse, which was 75p. And I had those for free with my points because there was nothing I needed. So I just thought they looked nice to put in a shoebox. And I also saw this. Um, on a, in just a, a general card shop that was down to a pound and it's a little solar um, Christmas toy and I thought that might be nice for going in a shoebox as well so I did that what else one of my favourite um, bargains I got over Christmas and I actually kept these for myself was um, these jars these were in tiger and they're adorable the little mouse on absolutely adorable and they were down to a pound. They started off life, I think it was about three pound, and they were down to a pound each. And because I'm trying to slowly um, give up packaging, which is not easy in the area I live and on the budget I am, but I'm slowly doing as much as I can, I thought they'd be great. And I see I've already got my lentils in here. So I got three of those for myself. But I also got, they had some other designs. So this one had a nice um, candy cane on, that was a pound and this one had a heart on and I will keep these because I have a few friends that are also trying to give up as much packaging and I thought at Christmas I can give this as a gift and inside I could put um, sweets or chocolates or um, even things like you could put things for doing your nails or face masks or bath bombs or whatever um, I'll think about that nearer the time but and just give them the jar Although, saying that, the lady in the shop, because they were glass, wrapped them up in this really pretty paper, which I'll definitely be keeping and reusing again. So I could just wrap them back in that paper and give them to the person as a gift. But I thought those were lovely. And then I also saw in there, reduced to a pound, these are plastic. And although plastic isn't great, I've got some um, little people in the family that I sometimes give gifts to and they're far too young to be given glass jars and these were like a pl plastic um, penguin and the top comes off, off and then you can put uh, little presents and things in here. So I thought that would be um, a really good gift idea for a pound as well. So that was what I was doing. Um, ready for Christmas, few little bits and pieces um, just to start, I don't do masses of um, shopping. The other thing I did do though very quickly is if you go on somewhere like Amazon 
they do deals as well and I always get an advent calendar for my my youngest is a teenager and she likes um I don't do the chocolate ones I like the ones with with things in she likes candles and stuff um but they do all sorts of products like makeup bath bombs nail varnish candles and they're all reduced at the moment um to five pound and I may or may not have bought some if you're watching my daughter might have bought some, might not, you'll have to wait and see till December. But they were reduced down to £5. And I know nearer the time, near when you're looking for them at Christmas time or even October onwards, they can skyrocket up and some things like that, you know, as you know, they go for silly money. So it's quite good, obviously, things that don't perish, um, like candles or whatever, and certain types of um, bath products. Um, they're really good to buy now and it does save you a little bit of money in the long run I mean in theory you don't have to buy those things because they're not a necessity but they are quite nice to have and if it's something useful and that you're going to use it anyway then they're quite a good good little thing to open um, and it's different to chocolate okay so that is my frugal things for January <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those. Um, leave a comment below about some of the frugal things you're doing in January to get ready for Christmas 2019. And I give this video a thumbs up and I'm hoping this year, as long as things go well, to post lots more videos about all sorts of crazy stuff I'm doing in my life. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and have a brilliant new year and I'll see you soon.